Welcome to Why I Knit. It is Saturday, August 1st, 2015, and my name is Rachel. I am your host. Find all the show notes at whyiknit.com. Find me on Ravelry as Yarn Talk. Uh, also, the, of course, the Ravelry group, uh, Twitter and Instagram as Why I Knit, and the Facebook group. And this is episode number 31. So, hi everyone. If you are a new viewer, welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the show. Uh, I hope everyone had a good week. Uh, I do have a little bit of housekeeping to talk about first. I do want to give a thank you to uh, the Tooth Tangle Skeins podcast who mentioned me in their list of podcasters, uh, in their Ravelry group, uh, go check them out, I have a link to their group, uh, where you can find, um, all, the entire list, I should know how they list it, because they are in Canada, is that they put all the Canadian podcasters first, and then they put, uh, everyone else below, so, of course, with me, living in Delaware, I am going to be the rest of the world, um, because I don't live in Canada, uh, so yeah, so thank you to both of you for, uh, mentioning me, uh, it's quite an honor, and I mentioned it in their group, and I promise that once I get a chance to introduce myself, I will, I've just been a little busy, and I will talk about that when I get to life news. Uh, I'm going to start off, as usual, with On the Needles, and this is something you haven't seen for a while, I think. I might have shown it, like, once since I got back from Florida, but I don't remember, and that is the Table Runner. Uh, I didn't work on it as much as I wanted to do this week, but I did add another cross to the cables. Um, so these are what's cool. They're looking very great uh, to me. And here's some of the stitches. Let's see how close. See how close I can get. So, yeah, it's been a semi good week knitting wise. Not as good as I want, but I'm very happy with this. Is how this is turning out. I am hoping, I want to say, by the end of the month. It will be done. Um, even though I am going to be away uh, in a few weeks. But yeah. Uh, I think I can get it done by the end of the month. And it's going to be helpful that uh, with the temperature. I mean, summer here hasn't been terrible. But the past, I want to say, three to four weeks, it's just been a little unbearable temperature wise tonight um but that is gonna start changing and I think I'll be back in the knitting mood uh hopefully starting this week and such uh but yeah I'm really glad that I was able to get somewhat a little bit done on the cable runner uh, and because, unfortunately, I can't show you the socks. Uh, the cow socks are definitely not going to get done. Uh, because by the time you see this, it will be the cow, uh, it will be closing day for the cow. Uh, but that's okay. Because I am ineligible for prizes anyway. And so, yeah, that is, is... For on the needles this week. I know it's very short, but I am hopefully going to be showing you next week uh, both the table runner and the socks. Speaking of the cow, um, as I said, because episodes now will be going up on Sundays for the foreseeable future, uh, even though I'm recording this on a Saturday. Today is the end of the cow, so if you uh, don't have it done yet, uh, 
really, there's really nothing to worry about because uh, the non-chatter thread, which is where all the entries are going to be, uh, doesn't close until Tuesday. Um, and that will close no earlier than uh, 6 p.m. my time Tuesday. It probably will close around, I want to say, um, 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern, but uh, I am not 100% sure. Once this closed, it is closed. I will pick a winner. I will contact that winner um, Saturday night uh, because I will probably upload uh, episode 32 early and I will explain uh, what will be happening the following week because I will be out of town uh, next week on next week's episode. So, uh, thank you to everyone who has participated in the Cal. And in about, let's see, I might have another just show news. Yes, I will talk about uh, what's next for the Cal uh, when I get to show news stuff. So you'll have to wait and see about that. Uh, the other thing is, is the giveaway. Uh, don't forget to, uh, enter that. Uh, the episode 30 thread will remain sticky till the 14th. Uh, as I, if you don't remember, uh, it's one skein, a tank or ball, a yarn of your choice from webs. Now, the winner will be contacted late Sunday. Uh, after I draw the winner, not this sun, not next Sunday, but the following Sunday, but it's going to be, um, it might actually be even Saturday night because I will be, uh, out of town that, uh, for that whole week, I will actually be out of town and, uh, but I will have my laptop with me. So for the giveaway, uh, you can only enter. Uh, in the episode 30 thread, if you win both the cow and the uh, giveaway, I will just pick another person for the giveaway. I'm not going to take your cow prize away, but you are allowed to enter both because I want to be fair. But remember, for the giveaway, you have to be a member of the group because I will be checking. And you have to post in the episode 30 thread. If you post in the episode 31 thread, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be as fair as possible. Your, um, your post will be deleted. And I will, I'm not going to message you the reason why. So please, 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 there's a link in the show notes. Look for, look at the show notes for that link. Because that will give you to the episode 30 uh, thread, or go on to Ravelry itself to uh, find out more info. Uh, so, planner update. Uh, I'm only going to show you like half a page because see if it will cooperate. I might have to um, let's, like pull it out all together. Yeah, I think I will. Well, no, I don't have to pull it out all together, but let me go find the page I was on. Because I actually um, changed uh, something up. And I want to show you on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, right here. So I changed uh, something up in my planner. I realized that I needed more room for my video information. It was, at first it was down at the bottom but I changed it um, because I wasn't really crocheting or spinning at the moment I changed it so that video is actually under the evening portion now and the uh, checklist is going to be my other um, spinning crochet for now um, that might change down the road but, um, Monday was actually the only day 
that I was able to finish everything that I kind of wanted, except for my blog stuff. But that's okay. Um, but I've been doing that for the past, uh, two weeks or so. I've only been doing that new setup, uh, and it's helped a little bit. Um, maybe, uh, this week now that it will be a full week in August. Uh, it will be much more clear for me, and I, it will work, uh, quite a bit more and stuff. But I will do another, uh, planner update in September, because I think doing it once a month, uh, works out well. Alright, so yeah, that is, uh, the planner update, a little bit quicker than usual. But I actually have a lot more to talk about. I only, it's like a page and quarter of show notes this week, but, um, it's just so much stuff. Uh, this is, I'm gonna announce it today, but, uh, it's officially not going to be debuting until, uh, a few weeks might even debut, uh, in two weeks, which is when, uh, I will be away in New York and Connecticut. Uh, it is a brand new segment that, uh, I haven't seen on other podcasts. Maybe other podcasts do have it, but, uh, I just haven't seen it in the podcast that I watch, uh, time to time. Uh, and that is, like, a Ravelry 101 series. I know Ravelry has been around for several years now. Uh, I'm going to say about, probably about six or seven years now, I think. Uh, but I've never seen, like, uh, a beginner's 101. Now, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about uh, in this series, it's probably going to be, uh, more advanced, but I, I think overall, though, Ravelry's a very easy website to navigate once you get used to it, but I, I just want to put this in just, like, to refresh the basics for people who might not know, like, a certain thing or whatever. The, uh, with that being said, the first segment will debut in a few weeks, as I said. It's already recorded, but I just want to record a few more before uh, I uh, put them in uh, episodes. I do know that this first segment that's going to go up um, in a few weeks or so, it's about five minutes long. Um, these are not replacing Sheep of the Month. Uh, the Sheep of the Month will be returning in, um, about one or two months, and I apologize for that. That was just my sister. Um, but, getting back to the Sheep of the Month, that, that will return in, um, either September or October. I haven't decided yet on that. Um. But this is a completely new series, series, uh, that will be, uh, all about robbery, like, basics to advanced stuff. So, yeah. I hope, uh, everyone will enjoy that series once that, uh, goes down. In addition, uh, I know on, I think, last week's episode... I said I was going to talk about my queue this week. I'm actually going to put that off until this segment officially debuts. Uh, debuts. Um, debut. You know. Weird. But. Because I, I just want to put them hand to hand, basically. Uh, for this, uh, new segment. So. Again, Ravelry 101, that will 
uh, premiere sometime later this month. I have not a firm date on that, though. So that leaves me to show news. Uh, I actually have quite a bit of show news uh, this week to talk about. Uh, Periscope. Uh, this is, I think, really starting to gain ground. Uh, if you're unfamiliar what Periscope is, it's um, an app for uh, iPhone and Android. Uh, it's from Twitter, but I don't think Twitter created it. <coughs> uh, created it. I think they uh, bought the app and then launched it. Um, but it's basically uh, live streaming uh, from your phone, uh, and uh, it archives the stream for 24 hours um, for the uh, person who creates the stream. I think it's archived forever, but for the um, general public, it's archived for 24 hours, and then it deletes. Um, I'm thinking, I, I kind of did a mini Periscope last week uh, for why I knit. I did a couple for my regular um, Twitter account as well. But what I'm going to be doing is uh, Monday to Thursday of this week, I am going to uh, Periscope at, so, um, at certain times. I'm not going to stay what time I'm going to periscope because that will kind of ruin the surprise uh, so you'll have to check Twitter of uh, why I knit uh, from Monday to Thursday it will probably be sometime from mid-morning to early slash mid-afternoon I haven't decided on the dates yet uh, but I will do a mini diary each day. It will probably be about five minutes, um, five to seven minutes each uh, day. And I'll just give a quick little update on my knitting. And the cool thing is, is that Periscope allows um, videos to be archived to the camera roll. So, if you miss a day and after it expires, uh, don't worry because I am going to actually share uh, that day um, on next week's episode. The downside of that is that it's only available um, in landscape mode, I guess, instead of portrait. Um, yeah, landscape. No, landscape is this way usually. <laughs> this way and portraits that way, I thought. Well, anyway, it's only available um, in vertical. And they haven't created a horizontal um, technology for that yet. So, the when I post the videos, uh, when I edit them into basically next week's episode, there are going to be bars on the side, and there's nothing that <coughs> can do to fix that, unfortunately. So, I apologize in advance, and when I do um, the Periscope section next week, uh, I will talk about that more. Uh, this is what I kind of was talking about earlier when I was talking about, <coughs> sorry, the cow is that next week, uh, along with the Periscope, and announcing the winner for this uh, cow, I am going to announce what the next cow will be, uh, along with the dates. I am pretty confident in what we'll be knitting, and I'm really excited as well, because I think this isn't a uh, thing that I've ever seen in a cow. Um, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I think it's going to be very cool for people. And I really hope that <coughs> a lot of, uh, people enjoy it. Uh, finally, as I said, um, not 
this upcoming, not this Monday, um, but the following Monday, I leave for New York for, uh, from Monday to the following Sunday. So, the episode for two weeks, which would be, uh, normally I would record all these 15th, and it would be up to the 16th, that might be delayed a couple hours when I get, until I get back home on the 16th. So, that is going to affect the giveaway a little bit, uh, because I won't contact the winner until, uh, the 16th. But I probably will contact the winner the 15th. For the cow, though, that won't change. I will contact the winner on the 9th, which is uh, next Sunday. But I will talk about that more next week. And finally, like news. Uh, it's actually been a very busy week. Uh, the first half, at least. Because I was helping my mom and sister with uh, a few things uh, that got finally got done. Uh, I got my passport photo done, but I'm a little worried that I'm going to have to do them again. Uh, I'm not going to show you them because it's a private thing. But I'm just, I can kind of sh uh, duplicate what it kind of looks like. It was kind of like this. So, um... <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that I have to get them really done, uh, redone. Although, where we got them done, um, we got them done for free because we did it through a travel agency. So, I'm hoping that if I have to get it redone, that I can get it, uh, redone there. And not at, like, say, the post office where they might charge a arm and leg for to get them redone. Um, but that was on me. That wasn't the person who took the photos. That was my fault. Um, okay. Yeah, this is kind of sad. Uh, I'm sad to see Cole Hamels go. Uh, if you're not familiar with who Cole Hamels is, uh, he was the ace of the Philadelphia Phillies. And now he plays for the Texas Rangers. I knew it was going to happen. But the fact that he was coming off a no-hitter kind of made me more sad than usual. Uh, the Phillies are not going to make the playoffs. I don't even think the Rangers are going to make the playoffs. But, so it was a weird, weird trade on the Rangers. Uh... Uh, perspective, but it happens. Hopefully, by the time Cole is ready to retire, he will come back to the Phillies, whether it's for a year or like a one day contract. That would be very cool as well. And finally, I know I talk about this quite a bit, but, but I have to. Binge watch this week on knitting podcasts because I am so so behind. So I think that's gonna be my big goal is to like watch at least two or three po uh, knitting podcasts uh, starting today Saturday and going all the way to next Saturday and see how much. Uh, maybe I all list all all the podcasts that I watched. Uh, and share it with you next week. I don't know if I will or not. But yeah, that is it for this week. Uh, the live show reschedule announcement will be announced in a couple weeks. Uh, I'm thinking that's going to be sometime in September now instead of August. Um, but yeah, uh, happy August, everyone. It's hard to believe that it's August, though. It feels like May, but it's August. But yeah, uh, as I said, that is it for this week, though. Uh, check back next Sunday for episode 32. I have another great show planned. <laughs> it's going to be fun. And I will 
talk to everyone uh, next week. Happy knitting. Uh, happy crocheting. Happy spinning. Happy weaving. Have a safe week. See you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.